Greetings of peace. My name is Rob Hotep, broadcasting on behalf of 13signsastrology.com. I thank you for listening and thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Uh, this topic in this episode today is about chemtrails. Chemtrails is a fairly popular topic that's been circulating in the metaphysical communities for quite some time now, for about the past decade. Um, <clears throat> and many researchers have talked about chemtrails, but they've only spoke of them on a mundane and material level. And you have those people out there that like to blame the government for everything. And it's nothing different with chemtrails. Most conspiracy researchers stop at the New World Order, the government, the Rockefellers, the elite, the Jews, and they blame, they want to point the finger, it's them, it's them, it's them. And they blame all of these different groups for some of the uh, atrocities that take place on this planet in the name of control. Because everybody wants to feel like they know who it is. Everybody wants to feel comfortable in that. But as I always say, and as you know, you get here on this channel, 13 Signs Astrology, we deal with the universe. And every problem on this planet, there's a universal root cause of it. And it's no different with the chemtrails. You see, the chemtrails is bigger than the government. It's bigger than the DuPonts, the Rockefellers. It's bigger than the Jews, the Zionists. Much bigger than Barack Obama. And I, I say it like this, and I talk like this because I really want to drill it home in a lot of people's minds because there's a lot of people out there and they want to blame the New World Order, a lot of people. And I really want to drill it home that you can't know the people that are the beings that are behind this. If you knew who and what was behind this, you would shit in your pants. You would shit in your pants. So you know about chemtrails, but you don't know who's behind it. Because these people can't be known. And if you've seen the types of beings that Hillary Clinton and certain people with high level clearance are meeting with, you would be like, whoa. You like some stuff out of Men in Black. And you're like, oh, you just watched too many movies where I'm hotel. No. You are just too brainwashed by too many movies. You see, I watch movies from the eye of a decoder with the open eye of Heru, my, my eye, my third eye open. So I don't watch movies and get lost in the action and in the magic like you do and in the Hollywood and in the wine. I don't get lost in that. I decode the movie and try to go to the core of what it's telling you because all movies have a message. And they come out of powerful minds. You see, what most people fail to realize is that Hollywood gets most of their movies from people that wrote books years ago and they turned them into movies or old from older movies. Hollywood's not creative. They're not creating these kinds of these ideas. So people, so you got to ask yourself, this stuff is not being made up. It's not being made up. Even the concept of the Wizard of Oz, that movie was not made up. You haven't done your research, so you don't know where the Wizard of Oz came from. And one day I'll do a video on that. But the Wizard of Oz came from out of occult circles. And many of you know what I'm talking about. You see, the Wizard of Oz was not just some made up thing. The Wizard of Oz was made up in the 1800s, long before it came on to the big screen. So chemtrails, what are they? Well, this is going to get kind of interesting. Because when I break down chemtrails, I'm going to do it from a perspective that you've probably never heard. So, um, if you're watching this video, you know, keep an open mind. You know, uh, take a little bit of time out your day. Make sure you don't have any distractions and just listen to some of the stuff that I'm saying. Um, I do a lot of research. But I put a lot of things together. And the thing that makes me such a great researcher is that I'm not religious. See, most people that do research, even a lot of your Egyptologists and stuff like that, they research things from the mind and the programming 
of a religious person and they never find the jewels in what they're looking for. You see, and this is what makes a lot of the things that I talk about interesting is because it's not new. Nothing I talk about is new. It's just that it's from the mind of a person that really looked at it from a biased perspective and from a non-religious perspective. And this is what you have to do. See, when you research chemtrails from a government perspective and a conspiracy G.I. Joe type of perspective, oh, it's the government trying to kill everybody. So they're just spraying on the, they, they, so they just want to kill everybody. If they want to kill everybody, just think about this. I want you to think about this, okay? This is real talk. They want to kill everybody, right? Why wouldn't the elites just do this? Hey, I got an idea. Let's all the elites pack up. You know what I'm saying? And if the elites are watching this, maybe they're going to get an idea from me because maybe they haven't figured this out yet. Because maybe Ron Hotep is that damn smart. Or maybe you guys that are saying this stuff is that damn stupid. But listen, I got an idea. What if the elites just all packed up, left everybody here in the United States, all the important people that they needed, you know, take all the important people out, extract them out, move them somewhere else, make it a secret plan. They could easily do it. Move everybody out, right? And why don't they just nuke everybody? Instead of spraying chemtrails and slowly killing everybody, why don't they just nuke everybody? You ever ask yourself that? Like, if that's really like that's really the goal of the chemtrails, right? It's just they're just trying to kill us, and they're spraying it all over the food, and they're using the chemtrails so we can't see the new sun, so that we can't get the uh, metaphysical energy. I mean, the uh, spiritual energy and the electromagnetic energy coming from the new sun, and all of those things are true. But you stop. See, people stop. You 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 stop at a certain point. Where your mind can't conceive certain things, you stop. You don't have enough research, enough information, so you stop. But see, a person that is open to ETs can keep going. You see, I research things from a lot of different people, but I bring it together in my own little formula because I'm not religious. And that's why it sounds slightly different from some people out there. Because people, some people are coming from a Christian background. Even when they think that they're not Christian anymore, they're still programmed by Christianity. They're still programmed by the moral concept of Christianity. You know, and this good guy, bad guy type of thing. See, that's what people need to get out of is the good guy, bad guy thing and realize that it's all about interests of races and ETs. And it's no different with the chemtrails. It's no different with the chemtrails. See, it's different. Like the chemtrails, there's more to it than them just trying to destroy you by poisoning you. It's more to it than that. It's more to it than them just blocking out certain weather patterns and certain objects from the universe. It's more to it than all of that. You want to know what it's really about? It's ETs. ETs behind it and the chemtrails. I'm going to go into a little bit of information here and go into some of my notes. See, I've been doing a lot of research on this stuff. And see, the chemtrails that they spray on the planet have nanofibers, nanofibers, and you're breathing these nanofibers in. And they've been spraying these chemtrails on the planet for this has been going on since the 90s, since the 90s, definitely. And they've been doing this and people don't realize, like, like people have to ask themselves, like, why did they start doing this? And I'm about to explain this, some stuff to you that's going to be really interesting. And I um, kind of already laid a foundation for a lot of this in some of my other videos. Like, you should watch my video, um, Reality. <clears throat> Basically, like, when I deal with reality versus existence, and when I deal with how certain beings can create an artificial reality and download it into you. See, this is about to get real real here because I'm about to go into a little more research because people think I'm just kind of coming on YouTube and just making stuff up or whatever. So I'm going to throw out some words that I want you to look up. And one of them is nanofibers. See, when they spray the chemtrails down, they have nanofibers in them, right? And these nano nanofibers are basically essentially technology. You see, these nanofibers pretty much turn into an interface. An interface. Now you're asking yourself, what is an interface? Your computer that you're probably watching me on right now, or even your cell phone, has an interface in it. And you want to know why is an interface in it? Because it has to have a way to be programmed. See, an interface is basically essentially a component that allows one to be programmed. Or allow, not really one, but allows a computer to be programmed. So a computer will have what's called an application programming interface, or API. That's what a computer will have. But in these chemtrails, they have nanofibers you see they have nanofibers and they have what's called bio apps bio apps and these bio apps are essentially these nanofibers essentially can turn into an interface so that these bio apps so you so that you could be programmed so that you can be programmed and people thought i was crazy when i was saying that there's ets out there that want to create a reality for you 
and they'll have you thinking that you're, these are your thoughts, but really in reality, you're living in another reality. You see, and people thought I was nuts when I was putting up that information and certain people would send emails and stuff like that. So you guys don't see what goes on the emails and people are like, oh, you, you need to just accept Jesus. Jesus is not going to get you out of these bio apps that I'm about to break down here. Jesus is not going to get you out of that. I'm just letting people know that. Jesus can't get you out of the bio apps. I'm not trying to offend anybody's religion or anything like that. Now, your faith, you can get you out of it. And your faith in Jesus, if that's who you want to have faith in, then your faith in Jesus can get you out of it. If that's who you want to have faith in. I'm not here to knock anybody's God. But I'm saying Jesus alone is not going to come back and save you from this. Oh, no, nobody. Nobody. So, the bio apps, they can program you. And the chemtrails, see, they didn't tell you this part. See, the chemtrails is more to it. The chemtrails, it was a means to an end. They created interfa interfacing. Through these nanofibers. See, these nanofibers basically uh, integrated themselves around certain parts of your brain, right? They integrated themselves around certain parts of your brain. And pretty much essentially what happens is, is that they can put these bio apps, bio apps and download information onto you with these bio apps. You see, they can download information onto you with, the, with these bio apps. So it's interesting because this introduces you to a new thing. And this introduces you to... The fact that you could be thinking a thing and this is not your thoughts. It's suggestive programming. And they're they're gonna the reason why they're doing this, there's a reason for this. There's a reason for this. And I'm gonna get into the reason in a minute. But I have to break down to you exactly what the chemtrails are about. So there's different levels to this thing. And it's a lot of stuff that ties into this stuff. It's a lot of stuff that ties into it. Um, a lot of people in the conscious community, um, some of them are paranoid. Some people are paranoid. A lot of people in the New Age community or the spiritual community or in the enlightened community. I mean, some people call us paranoid or, you know, people that are in the conscious community paranoid. But it's a reason for that. It's a reason for that, too. It's not that you're paranoid. It's not that you're paranoid. It's just that you feel like you know something. You know a lot of information and you know a lot of other people don't know it. And you feel like since you know it, that you're going to be targeted based on what you know. So that's always been prevalent in the conscious community, that mindset. So paranoia, in a way, in the conscious community is justified to a certain degree because you do know things that other people don't know. But at the same time, paranoia sets in because you start to think that people are out to get you. You start to think that people are out to get you. So this lead, led into uh, basically a lot of people knocking, gang stalking. And being basically targeting and stuff like that. And I'm going to get into a little bit of the gang stalking and targeting now. Now, paranoia is some people are paranoid in the conscious community. And that's why I mentioned it. You do have the paranoid. Some people are just paranoid. And it's, whether it's justified or not, some people are paranoid. Nobody's out to get them. Nothing's going on. You're just paranoid. You're not doing anything to be targeted. Then you have people that are being gang stalked. That, and, and this is going on. And I'm going to break down how the chemtrails and all of that tie into it. You see, like the chemtrails, all of that stuff tie into the gang stalking or whatever. And let's go into that now. So most of you that are really big, big on researching, you have heard of the gang stalking. You've heard of the concept of gang stalking is essentially that you feel like, pe like people that know a lot of information, that have cutting edge information that the masses don't know, they, over a point in time, they start to feel like they're targeted. And they start to feel like they're being followed. You can Google the gang stalking. I mean, this is like a real live something you can put in Google and it'll come up. So this is something I'm just talking about. You can put this into a search engine, but I want to point out something here. So and break down how the chemtrails tie into it. So you have the gang stalking, right? And this is legitimate. Some people are being gang stalked. This is happening. So I want you guys to Google it. I'm not going to waste a lot of time here talking about gang stalking and all the different cases of it, but I'm going to tell you what it is. Gang stalking is when some people feel like it's the government. Some people feel like it's the newer order. Whoever. I'm going to explain to you who, you, who it really is in a minute. See, it's not the government and it's not the newer order. See, that's what people better realize. It's deeper than that. But some people feel like it's the government or the Illuminati or whoever. So and these people feel like they're being targeted because of the information they have and they're being gang stalked. They go, say for instance, and this is what gang stalking is. Say for instance, when they go out and they go to a restaurant, people look at them. People treat them funny. People get on phones. And when they, when they get on the phone, next thing you know, the police roll up and the police come in and start looking at them funny and they get targeted all the time and they just feel like they're always constantly targeted. This is called gang stalking. And these people are legitimately targeted. Like if you watch their life, these people are legitimately targeted and they're like people are always watching them and all of that. This is called gang stalking. And 
it has to be pointed out here because it's a reason why this this whole gang stalking is going on. It's tied into the the uh, chemtrails and it's tied into the nanofibers. And when the biops and the programming of the biops is downloaded into you or onto you or into your organs, because these biops they are downloaded into your organs. See, this is like a computer or, or a computer organism, pretty much essentially. And this is grown, so they spray you with the chemtrails, and that it doesn't stop there. It basically creates an interface so that now you can be programmed from a remote location through electromagnetic programming from a remote from a remote location, and you begin to think thoughts. See, thoughts are electric. People fail to realize that, like thoughts are electric, so they can electrically send out thoughts to you because they've used these chemtrails and sprayed these chemtrails on you, so they've created an interface, so now they can program you with the biops or the bioapps. So that's basically what's going on. So that's the first phase of it. And then so people that so everybody has this on them. Let me break this down now. Biops, everybody's running biops right now. So essentially everybody's running technology in them. Everybody's running technology in them. And I know people are shot. If you're in a major city, you've been getting sprayed with chemtrails. I don't care what major city you are across the world, you've been getting sprayed with chemtrails, especially in the United States of America. Especially. You've been getting sprayed with chemtrails, and you're, 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 you are running basically biaps. You might not be running biaps. Not everybody's running biaps, excuse me, but you have nanofibers. You have nanofibers. Not, not everybody's running biaps. Now, that's the first phase of it. Now, let's get into level two. Level two is nanofibers. So, say, for instance, a person gets out of line, they are studying a lot of information, they are learning a lot of information, they are becoming enlightened. They download bioaps bio apps on you. Or programming onto you, so now you're targeted. This is where the gang stalking comes in that, but people fail to realize this is how they're doing it. See, it's through the chemtrails. So now they can download the nanotechnology onto you, and now they can target you. Essentially, they're bugging you through the chemtrails. They're putting a bug on you. Let's just keep it clear and then just get a little bit of clarity here so I can basically stop using all these big words. I know a lot of people, a lot of young people out there, they're not really hip to the whole scientific. Uh, lingo or whatever, they're bugging you like a bug on a phone, a wiretap. They're bugging you in your skin with the chemtrails, right? And if you get out of line, that's when gang stalking comes into play. And I'm going to get into who the day is. See, it's not the government. I'm make sure, make sure you guys understand. It's not no intelligence agency either that's doing this. That yeah, they may have access to the technology, and they may have it now, but they're not behind the, the, the uh, technology. And I'm pretty sure those of you to watch the channel know where I'm going with this. So they're bugging you with the chemtrails, right? running all these programs on you and stuff like that. So you get out of line, you start to learn a lot of information. You start to feel like you're being targeted. It's for some people, the stalking feels like it gets to a point where they feel like even people in their families are targeting them. And I'm going to explain to you why. And it's not that you're not being targeted. You're not paranoid. You're not paranoid. See, I want to point that out. And I'm bold enough to get on a YouTube channel and talk about this and say that a lot of conscious people that feel like they're being targeted are not paranoid. I mean, I have to point that out because it's too many people that like to side with uh, the uh, mainstream community and say, oh, conscious people are paranoid and all that. Nah, nah. If you learn a lot of information that's outside the box, you're a potential threat. You could be targeted. But let me explain to you what targeting really is. So you have this programming on you, right? So now you're being targeted, right? And some of these people go through really traumatic situations when they get targeted. They lose their jobs. They get targeted in their jobs because they start studying new age information. Then the next thing you know, they lose their job. Then they lose their house. Then they lose their wife. It's just like everything just starts stacking up on it and they start to think that everybody is working with some secret group to sabotage them. They start to feel like that and they're justified in thinking that. I understand that, but it's a reason why. So if you some a lot of people are relating to this, if you know anything about gang stalking. This is what it is. These people are sabotaged. And even some of them to, to the point where they feel like when they go into a restaurant, they're followed. The, their, their significant other is a part of some type of secret movement. They feel like they're always being followed. If you watch the movie Adjustment Bureau, this will give you a good idea of what I'm talking about because the Adjustment Bureau is also talking about that. Remember how he felt like he was being followed, he was being watched before he knew about the Adjustment Bureau. He felt like he was being followed, he was being watched, right? So let's so, so watch this, how this plays out. So that's for people that study a lot of information. They get outside the box. They pretty much figure out that something's wrong. And they question the programming. And this is literally a program. So the programs are running and they question the program. And so what happens is in reality is everybody's running these applications, right? So you have what's called handlers. And a lot of people are used to handlers from more of an MK Ultra perspective. That's old school stuff. 1960s MK Ultra. That's old stuff. Handlers, mind control. Yeah, mind control is real, but we're dealing with technological mind control here, people. 
Tech mind control just went to a whole nother level. This is technological mind control. And MK Ultra is child's play. That's nothing compared to this. Because this can be done without any human being controlling it. And I'll explain to you how. So they program all this on you. And this is basically advanced mind control. So now they want so now you're on level two. You have handlers. And keep in mind the handlers, they're on level two too. You have two different people that are on level two. People that are questioning the system outside the box and then handlers. Handlers are on level two. Now your handlers are level two people again, and they are essentially people that you feel like are the ones that are showing up and targeting the people that are studying information and getting outside the box. These are your handlers. Some people feel like they have handlers in their families. Some people feel like their jobs is handlers. Their boss is a handler. Some people feel like their spouse is a handler. Whatever. It doesn't matter. This is, you, you feel like this person is a handler, but what's really happening is, is that it's the program. You see, you're, you have programs running on you. And when you believe in it, the more you believe in the matrix and in the system, see the technology is designed for the matrix. It's like a religious institution being set up based upon technology for the matrix. Real life Age of Aquarius type of shit right here. This is real life Age of Aquarius type of shit. And I'm saying that because Age of Aquarius deals with the age of science, right? See, it's the age of science and technology. And they're bringing it in with this, right? They're, they done set up, this is deeper than Christianity, deeper than any type of programming because this is dealing with programming that manifests on a physical level. So you have people like that believe in it, the more you believe in it, certain triggers. They have what's called triggers. Now let's go to the next level. What are triggers? You can Google all this now. Keep in mind, these certain terms I'm using. So triggers. They got certain triggers, things that certain people do to trigger, like your belief in the matrix when you go to church. This triggers the technology. This triggers it. It makes you. It makes it stronger. It's like it's like almost like a virus, and it sets in and it locks in more. It's like you're becoming programmed more. You become a brainwashed more based upon your own belief. So essentially, you're programming yourself. See what I'm saying here? Nobody's doing this to you. So the handlers, they're the people that believe in it, and the people that get out the box and they question it. So when you question it, right, that creates a, a glitch in the program. Because it's like, oh, you're, you're, you're questioning it. So that what happens is you start questioning it. That sends a signal in the program. This is all written in the program, right? That sends a signal to the handlers. And the handlers come down on you and begin to oppress you. Or what you call, some people even call the dark lords, which is even a higher level to it. That I'll get into more later, or the overlords. Well, actually, I'm going to do a whole separate video on that. But So you have handlers, and they begin to oppress you. And these are people you feel like are coming down on you. You're studying this information. And they're like, you're crazy. Why are you studying this stuff? You're going to lose your mind. You're not eating right. You're not eating no more meat no more. You're getting all skinny. You ain't got no muscles. You're not strong anymore. They're questioning everything. See, this is all based on the program. These are handlers. They want to keep you believing in the matrix. Every time you question it, remember, you're freeing yourself, but it sends a, a signal out to the handlers. And they got to come stop you. Like, no, don't let this person get out. This is programmed, though. Keep in mind, this is not, see, this is not just belief and mental here, people. This is programming. Physical programming that's being used through the chemtrails and being downloaded into your body, into your being. You see, and it's a lot of research. I'm only touching the ice, this tip of the iceberg here. So all of your gang stalking, all of your targeting, all of this stuff is going back to programming people, programming. So let's get into who's doing the programming and why. It's ETs. ETs are behind the programming. And this is why a lot of researchers, see a lot of people, you may have heard about the chemtrails, you may have heard about the bio, app, the bio apps, you may have heard about all of that stuff. Uh, but you may not have heard of who's doing it. See, a lot of the researchers out there that are researching this stuff, they're not talking about who's behind it because they don't want to accept the real truth is the fact that ETs are behind all of this. They didn't get this technology by themselves. They was given this technology. Why do you think the technology started in the 90s? Why do you think the chemtrails mostly started being sprayed mostly real heavy in the United States in the 90s? Because they were getting ready for the next part of the second phase of this video that I'm getting ready to go into. And this is why. Why are they allowed to do these things? Why um, doesn't anyone or any type of force stop them from just controlling people the way they do? Why can they just spray on people and download programs on people to control people? And the control thing is deep. Before I even get into why, I mean, let me just explain to you guys like how this stuff is working. I mean, it's deep. Like, I mean, when you go to church, that that sends off triggers because I didn't really finish the triggers, so that sends off triggers, right? Then, say for instance, if you eating potato chips and pet meat. I'm serious. You can research stuff. Red meat. All of this stuff that you guys love to eat, right? These guys, this is nano. This, this stuff has ants in it. And it, these ants trigger 
the programming inside of you. This is why, and then any type of intoxicants, intoxic ants, intoxic ants. I know a lot of conscious people always break that word down, intoxic ants, but it's true. It's true. I know we play on words a lot and stuff, but it's true. Intoxic ants, because it has ants inside of the intoxic, the intoxicants or bugs that trigger the bugs inside of you based on the chemtrails. So all of this lower level chemicals that are inside of these things trigger the ants that are inside of you and the bugs that are inside of you. And they trigger these things. And this is what turns it on and puts you on either being a little handler. Like if you eat bad and all of that, you go going to church, you live in an ignorant lifestyle, that's going to make you a handler. See how everything's getting separated now? So you can't just be ignorant now. Now ignorant people are going to still try to suppress you. So this is why in the Matrix, uh, Morpheus said, Neo, no matter if they're unplugged or plugged, there's still a potential threat until they're totally free. I mean, I'm sorry. He said no matter if they're agent or not, whether they're ignorant of the Matrix or not, there's still a potential enemy. That's what he said. Excuse me. No matter if they're an agent or not. There's still potential threat. So this is what's going into the nanotechnology. See, all this stuff, they're putting it in the movies, but people don't know what they're talking about. People don't realize what these movies are talking about. Gamers, all of that stuff is talking about the technology being downloaded into people. They're essentially, so it's different levels to this. So first, they have all these triggers and stuff like that. So that's phase two. So you're a handler or you're not. So then it gets to a point where the technology starts, to, it can take over certain body parts. People are complaining about pains in their necks pains in their backs, on their spinal column, pains in their head. Then you have technology inside of you. No matter how healthy you eat, you still feel these pains. You have technology inside of you. You have bugs inside of you that are technology that beings, ETs, can monitor you with. They can monitor you with. Hack into this technology, send thoughts. Not just monitor to you, forget all of that. Just That's one level to it, but send thoughts to you and have you, and this is why I say you don't have any free will. To have you to make choices Instead of decisions, choices, look up choices, look up decisions, make choices, basically, because you only have certain options. And that's what they want to give you is certain choices based upon the thoughts that's being projected to you. And there's no way out of this programming unless you can reprogram yourself with the programming that's older and more ancient than the programming that is being used in this matrix. So that's what it comes down to. So you got handlers that are level two, you got people that are trying to break away. People that are trying to break away from this thing or whatever. So um, let's go into the second half of this video. Why? Why can't we get out of this thing? Now, it's a real good reason why we can't get out of this thing. Um, well, you can get out of this thing, but it's a good reason why this is even happening. It's not meant to get out of. So that's what people fail to realize. This is basically a technology that was essentially given to humans and given to the government by extraterrestrial beings, by immortal groups, right? And the immortal groups, they started to prepare for the shift and the quarantine being lifted, right? And remember, I told you, if you watch my video about the quarantine, it talks about how the quarantine was in place based upon a spell that was put on humanity that was to last for 6,000 years. Some people call this a spell of Kingu. And I know those people that study Dr. York probably heard about this, but it's actually out of the um, Sumerian tablets. They talk about the spell of Kingu and the Sumerian tablets. And this spell was cast on the earth and it was called the spell of religion. And this was a form of programming or a quarantine that was put on humans so that humans would be able to work out their own growth and development to be able to either join back onto the council or to self-destruct. And humans had to be able to, give, to be given a chance to work out their existence. Because if you follow my other videos about the Anunnaki, I talk about how the Anunnaki created humans against the council's will. So, but now the council decided, based upon different events have played out now, and the council decided that human beings had to have a chance to work out their existence. So at first they put a quarantine over the planet so no outside beings could come in and they set up religion. And religion was supposed to make you moral, right? Basically, you were supposed to it was supposed to make you have control over your lower nature. That was essentially what religion essentially is all about, so that you can ascend into a light being and ascend into your rightful state. And this is what Jesus, this is what all the prophets were essentially trying to do with religion. This was a programming, though. You got to keep in mind, religion was a programming based on the quarantine that was put on the people, and it was different parts. It was it was different spells. That was one of the spells. It was religion was one of the spells. There's two other components to the spell uh, that was cast 6,000 years ago. So all this is a programming that was put on people 6,000 years ago, but that's up. The quarantine, was, remember I said the quarantine was up or is up in 2012. They had to prepare for that. 
so they had to bring in a new phase. See, the quarantine being up is only because the new energy is coming in. We're going into slowly going into the age of technology. The Anunnaki are coming back. And they had to set up a new system. See, humans failed the religious programming system. It didn't work. Religion didn't work. Humans are living worse on this planet and destroying the planet even more than what we ever were before. So it didn't work. It didn't work. So now they had to set up a new system. They had to set up a new system. And this technology was given to a lot of the immortal groups. Some of them agreeable, some of them disagreeable from different councils, from different galactic councils, was given this technology to the different reptilians and to the different immortal groups. When I say immortal groups, you watch my video on immortals to find out more about the immortal groups on my YouTube channel. But the immortal groups was given this technology and they've been had this technology and they gave it to the humans because what you have to realize is that the uh, Galactic Council works with the immortal groups or the Council of the Earth, which is the immortal groups. And they that's how and then the immortal groups control the surface or the government. So that's why I try to tell people that the government is not a control. They're not the ones gang stalking you. It's deeper than that. So the immortal groups basically get the, got the technology, gave it to the government, the chemtrails and all of that type of stuff. The uh, chemtrails and the uh, nanofibers and all of that stuff. So they gave it to the government and the government began to spray the chemtrails to prepare for this new for the quarantine being lifted and to prepare for the shift. So now they downloaded all the um, technology onto people through the chemtrails, through, spraying, through, through the uh, spraying of the chemtrails. They downloaded all, all the technology on people, right? So now what did they do? So basically um, they're doing all of this. and So now what did they do and why did they do it? I'm, basically is what I'm saying. They did this because essentially they want to install a new system or a new spell on the planet. See, the spell of religion is over. The quarantine is about to be lifted. But what happened is humans never worked our way out of the karma that we created, the, the cycles that we've created. And we're abusing the planet. So they created this technology so that humans would be able to what, judge themselves essentially. And this is how the technology works. When you believe in the technology, more of it gets downloaded onto you. You begin to judge yourself. So when you do things against the, the grid and the system, you judge yourself. And you the technology turns in on you and you ultimately destroy yourself. So when you eat certain foods. This is what I'm breaking down. The spiritual lifestyle has to be adopted because the only way out of this technology and the spraying of the chemtrails is to vibrate on a higher level so that the technology won't work. The technology only works when you are vibrating on a lower level, when you're eating foods that are basically toxic, when you're kissing people. This can trigger, this can trigger it. Kissing people can trigger it for you to be gang stalked or whatever. So those people that are conscious, you kissing people that are eating a certain kind of way, this can trigger certain things within you, certain uh, programming within you and can cause the matrix to turn in on you. So I know this is a really, this is a really challenging topic to get people to understand because you can't understand how a software and a computer can control your reality but that's exactly what's going on essentially it's not even just a, it's a organ it's a computer organism controlling your reality and this is happening because it doesn't work if you're living on a higher level see if you're living into a nature the, it, it could you, you could begin spray with the chemtrails and you'll have it right but it'll never get activated remember i said there's phase two see everybody has the the um nanofibers that's one thing but they have to become activated they have to become activated in order for you to be get gang stalked and all that type of stuff. And they get activated by you living a lower level lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, they have to get activated or whatever. Now, another name for the applications and the programs is wetware. That's another name for it. It's called wetware. And in order for these programs to be downloaded on you or this wetware to be downloaded onto you, like I said, you have to feed into that lifestyle. You have to be drinking a whole bunch of wine, smoking cigarettes. Like people don't realize like cigarettes has over like a thousand chemicals in it. Like cigarettes alone has over like a thousand heroin, all type of stuff. They put anything, anything addictive is in cigarettes, trace amounts of it. So cigarettes has, and this is true, research it, has over a thousand chemicals in it. So you smoke a cigarette, you call yourself conscious, you're triggering this stuff. Every time you do something toxic, you're triggering it. So essentially what's going to happen is all of the poor people in the in so-called black communities and, and the impoverished communities in general, they're going to be the first to go. They're going to be the first to go because you're eating unhealthy and you have this these bugs in you. That are being activated. I know a lot of people are like, I don't know why I watch this video. I know. I, I mean, I gotta, I gotta keep it real. I have to keep it real. Have to offer truth so that you would know what's going on. 
it's up to you to decide. You can keep doing what you want to do. Keep doing what you want to do. But kissing toxic people, taking in drugs, like taking pharmaceutical drugs, like all type of stuff, like taking Prozac and all that type of stuff activates these bugs inside of you. Taking cocaine activates these bugs inside of you, like any type of drugs. Now, I'm not talking about like marijuana and all that type of stuff. I'm talking about drugs. Drugs activate these bugs inside of you. So, I mean, it's a, it's a cold game. It's a dirty game. It's a sad game. But it's a true game. You know what I'm saying? The chemtrails is a technology that turns you essentially into a computer that's able to be manipulated and controlled. And the only way out of it is to raise your energy. To meditate. So that you can learn how to go past thought. Because they use the thoughts to control you. So a lot of times when people feel like, um, you know how it was in the Adjustment Bureau, right? When the guy in, in the Adjustment Bureau, he became a politician. He just felt like he was just lucky. Like things just happened for him. It was just, no, he was being, see, the Adjustment Bureau is talking about what I'm talking about right now. He's talking about this technology. He was being manipulated to get into the position he was in through being suggest through suggestive thoughts. That's what it's called, suggestive thoughts. He was being manipulated. So your thoughts aren't yours. So you choose a thing. You're like, oh, it's just going for me. And I chose this and I chose that. And it's just like, it seems like things keep going for you. Even even when things go good for you, you're even being manipulated then a whole lot of times. Because you have to ask yourself, is this what you want? Or are you just taking what's coming to you? Is this what you want? You have to ask yourself that. So, I mean, this thing is deep. This thing is deep. I mean, the only way out of it, the spiritual sovereignty is controlling your temple, eating the best of the foods, putting the best of things into your temple. When you have sex with people, having sex with the cleanest of people and the most loving, like, like the most loving people that you can be around. I mean, any lower level people that are up under control can potentially be triggered to become handlers based on a technology that's what I'm trying to explain to people based on a technology that essentially works off of just thoughts nobody's controlling this thing and that's what people feel to realize no physical person is behind the scenes like dude let me send this thoughts at where I'm hotel dude let me send this thoughts at this person dude let me send this thoughts at that person no it's nobody behind this thing that's the deep thing about it it's it works based upon frequencies and vibrations when somebody escapes handlers come at them to stop them when somebody feeds into the lifestyle and believes in the religion and believes in intoxicating themselves to live and believes in eating and, and like and, and believes in taking baths and, and chlorine and bleach and stuff like that and people that believe in that type of stuff, that toxic lifestyle, they it's triggers get activated and they become handlers. And basically essentially this is getting this is happening all off frequency. All off frequency, all off somebody being outside of the box. So I know this is like really hard for a lot of people to understand, but you can research it. It's out there. Again, I'm going to go over it just again, just to name a few key words. You want to look up uh, the bio apps. You want to look up nanofibers. You want to look up all of this stuff. You want to look at look. You want to look up wetware. Look these things up and start to research these things. You'll see how deep this thing gets. I mean, mind control and mental programming and depression and all of this stuff takes a whole another i mean you, it, you, it makes you take a whole other look at these things when you start understanding the technology that these ets have introduced and the quarantine is being lifted so essentially to just go ahead and shut this video down they're being allowed to do this that's the point i'm making the immortal groups that are essentially introducing this technology to the governments they're being allowed to do this by the council because it doesn't work on people that are vibrating and living in some nature anyway. So this is basically a way to separate the men from the boys and the girls from the women. Those people that are living in some nature from those people that aren't living in some nature. This technology does it because it's sad. It's messed up. They, that people have bugs in them and, you know, they're going to be caused to, to die uh, a lot faster and a lot sooner than what they normally would have been because of, you know, the uh, technology and the immortal groups and different groups controlling them. And it is control, but it's not good or not bad. So Ram Hotep is not here to try to uh, knock it to say as to whether or not it's good or it's bad. I'm just here to inform you of what's going on and to tell you that if you're meditating and monitoring your thoughts and always living in the now and just focusing on what you need now and not getting caught up on greed, you don't have to worry about getting controlled and manipulated by this technology. If you're a vegan and you're eating healthy, it's not going to work as much on you. I mean, I'm not saying that, I mean, there's still other things you got to do, 
know what I'm saying? Because the bath water's toxic. So you gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get a, a water system set up in your house. I mean, the bath water's toxic. Uh, the air is toxic. So, I mean, you really want to start off with your house and really build a nice little grid. Get your house like feng shui out. Like, that's what I call it. Build your nice little spiritual grid. Get your crystal set up in your house, right? So you can build up an energy grid so that you can keep yourself getting charged up. So when you go out and you're getting sprayed by the chemtrails, when they try to download this programming on you, you'll think the thoughts and you'll experience them, but you're like, ah, I know that's just them sending these thoughts and communications that they're advertising. Because that's another thing they can do. They can advertise to you based off this technology. And that's what they're instilling it for. See, eventually, they're not, they're not going to need television. They're going to communicate with people through their thoughts and advertise with people through their thoughts. And that's where this is going. See, this is going somewhere. They're changing. The world is changing. The world is changing. So it's the new world order. And it's a lot of people that want to stop it. But this is where the world is going. If you don't want to be a victim to it, you got to raise your frequency, raise your vibration so that the ants and the bugs won't be able to control you. See, it's the beings that are responsible for this. The Andromedans. The Andromedans are nothing but insects. And I'm going to, I haven't even did a video on it. I got to do a video on the Andromedans, but it's the ETs that are behind the chemtrails and all of that because at the end of the day, it's all about control of the planet. They all want control of the planet, so they'll put software on you, hardware on you, whatever they got to put on you to control you because it's all about control. And if you want to get out of this, you have to take back control of your body because you have control of your body and your thoughts regardless. Don't let them fool you. You don't have to eat the way the food that's on the market. You say, well, I can't afford because I, can't, I don't have the money. You tell yourself you can't afford it, so you never be able to afford it. And that's how it works, especially now. So this is all going into the quarantine being lifted. See, since the quarantine is being lifted, remember I told you, they can do this stuff to you now. They, they, that's why they're spraying people and able to download technology. You know, they can do whatever they want to do because you had your time to work out your, your karma based upon the, during the times of religion when you could have became a light being and transformed and transfigurated. That's what Christ consciousness was about. That's what Christ was trying to tell you how to become a Christ like being a crystallized being, a higher being. This is what you have to become. So, I mean, I'm amped up here. Um, it's exciting. It's sad. You know what I'm saying? It's an exciting time, but the world is changing. I'm putting this video out here now in 2012, but mark my words, by 2020, you're going to wonder why people are more and more droned out. You're going to see more of the drone agenda being promoted because of this technology here. Deep stuff. Deep stuff. So, the only way out of it, like I said, is to raise your energy, to live on a higher level, to where you live in what's called the state of now, where you just are, where you learn to just exist. So when you get these thoughts of go do this, go do that, because everything goes back to doing something lower level so that you can stay in the matrix. So any thoughts that they send at you is not going to be anything positive. So that's how you know it's them. If you like every time you get yourself together, you're like, well, go to McDonald's, go eat this, go eat that. They want you to do things to constantly keep reprogramming yourself with the software and with the technology because you keep taking in the ants and the intoxicating drugs and the foods and the chemicals and washing your clothes and the stuff. It's like the more intoxicants you take in, the worse off it is for you. And this is why a lot of people are sick and you don't want to take in herbs. I mean, herbs are like, you have to take in more positive chi, more positive energy to override this thing. So technology can't override you like these are level one immortal type of people that, that are giving them this technology it's obvious even though it's a nice it's a nice system don't get me wrong it's a nice system but it's still not it still doesn't beat this this is the best system the human mind can override even this technology but if you're eating wrong your mind's not going to function properly if your energy's not right you're not cleansing so you have to cleanse yourself. When you do the spiritual baths and the spiritual cleanses, that helps to get the bugs out of you too. When you alkalize your system and you eat alkaline food, that helps to rid yourself of the bugs. So you have to become light and raise your energy and do the guided meditations. I have a guided meditation on my website. You got to do the guided meditations and do the things that you need to do so that these beings will not take control of you. This stuff is serious. So um, it's not the government. It's not the New World Order. It's not the Illuminati. It's a group of immortal beings that are introducing this technology through chemtrails and spraying the people in the major cities because they want drones or robots that are easily controlled and manipulated. And the only way to not be controlled and manipulated is to raise your energy to a frequency of the fifth dimension and sixth dimension on up where you're vibrating on the octave of love and non-control and non-attachment. See, the whole matrix is going to be based on control. And if you don't want to control anything, then guess what? That frees you. And the less control, the less you want to control, the more free you are. So let go. That's how you get out of it. Let go. So um, that's my brief video on, well, it was kind of long, but it was a lot of information I had to get out on the uh, chemtrails and the truth behind it. You know, who's really behind it and what's really going on with chemtrails. So until we meet again, I'll leave you all in peace, love, and prosperity.